In the name of God, Cousin Marriages in Islam, Part 8 Cousin Marriages are the marriages between a male and a female who are related by the bond of being cousins that the girl is the daughter of the father's brother and this is considered that the father represents something being further and the brother representing the bother that when something is the father's brother it means there's a furthering of a bother and that would allow to a state of life and therefore the father's brother is called the uncle from the words unkill as in not death not killing but meanings of life and for this reason traditionally in humans people married their cousin to maintain this idea of the importance of life however cousin marriages are related to being Arab since Arabs are people of the mind and are the people who are mindful of living in the harmful desert therefore the idea of furthering brothers is very important that cousin marriages are considered highly associated and strongly associated to Arabs and to Arabic culture and tradition However, with the revelation of the Qur'an and the coming of the religion of Islam to the Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, in Arabia, cousin marriages became conformed and confirmed to the religion of Islam, since cousin marriage is considered the most purest marriage. It's a union and coming together of two people who are similar in blood and flesh, and this allows their to be a union of purity since purity is the coming together of what is similar and likewise the coming together of what's different is considered an impurity and since Islam is a religion based on the Puritan religion of Abraham that maintains that God is one and that God is pure this meant that in Islam there's a preservation of the notions of purity such as that of the cousin marriage. Therefore the cousin marriage in Islam is seen as a confirmation of the purity and oneness of God and therefore its importance and its maintaining throughout Islamic history. Prophet Muhammad was born from cousin marriages and likewise the majority of the companions of Muhammad peace be upon him including Ali radallahu anhu who was born from first cousins Prophet Muhammad was born from a girl and a boy who are cousins and who who are one in their fourth and fifth grandparent God in the Quran revealed in the chapter of the groups, chapter 33, that cousin marriages is what is lawful. And God revealed in verse 52 of the same chapter of the groups, chapter 33, that God has made unlawful strange women that a man must marry his cousin that is what is allowed in Islam what is halal and that a man is forbidden from marrying a stranger a woman from the general population and that is haram God in Islam is considered one and is considered pure and the cousin marriage is pure because they're similar and they relate to each other in a bond of the uncle, the good bond. 
since the uncle is the father's brother. So there's ideas of lack of harm, of safety, of goodness, of pleasure, of acceptance, of satisfaction. And since marriage and sex is the way of creation, when the person is created in a pure relationship, such as that of the cousins, it is a notion towards and support and proof of the existence of the pure creator, that pure creation is support of a pure creator who is God, and that an impure creation is suggests to lack of a pure creator, which is the idea of atheism. And since Islam is different from the religion of Christianity and Judaism, in that Islam believes in that God is one and that God is holy. And this is maintained in Islam. However, in Christianity, whilst they believe in a one and in a, in a, in a pure God, they contradict it by the claim that Jesus was the Son of God. Since having a son and, and a partner suggests to an impurity in God, and the Christians believe in the Trinity, which is that God is the Father, the Son and the Holy Spirit. Again, this is a contradiction to the idea that God is one. In Judaism, God is also believed to be one and God is considered pure. But again in Judaism, there's the idea that God rested after the sixth day of creating the world. And again, this notion of shortcoming and impurity to God it contradicts the first idea that God is one and that God is pure. So the religion of Islam is the only religion of the Abrahamic religions and the world religions that believes that God is one and that God is pure without contradiction. And this is why Islam is considered a superior religion and considered to be the truth from God that came to correct old wrong held ideas about God that exist in Christianity and Judaism and this is what God has said in the Quran that in the chapter of the cave God says God has sent the Quran as a warning to those who claim that God has a son. The idea that God is pure and is whole in purity together this idea of the completion of purity, the completeness of goodness in God is called holiness from the word, word whole and, and likewise God is, is called divine and divine comes from the word dive and to dive means to become wholly submerged in water. This idea of the encompassment and the overwhelmment of goodness and purity in God in Arabic is called Rudus which is a word also related to the word meaning dive in water. And this is to say that the God of Islam is a one God that is completely pure and is whole in purity, that God is holy. And the cousin marriage, since it's superior to the marriages of strangers where they're different and so it's an impure joinery, the cousin marriage is a suggest to a, is the purest form of marriage since God in the Quran says in chapter 33 verse 50 that God has made lawful the marriage of the cousin from the father's brother and the cousin from the father's sister and the cousin from the mother's brother and the cousin from the mother's sister these four categories of cousins God have made lawful in the Quran. However, the, the daughter, the cousin from the father's brother, is the relationship most pure. There's degrees of purity and it's fate in which category a man finds his wife. And traditionally, the cousin wife is considered an ownership since the the girl is, is similar to the man, she's compatible, she's most similar to him, so he owns her 
and the ownership comes in from this idea of similarity. Since God in Islam is considered to be pure, God says God is one, God was not born, God does not have son. This idea that God did not give birth and God was not born is a completion of purity in God, that God cannot be associated to the ideas of impurity such as that of sex, marriage and children. And the cousin marriage from the father's brother is the most purest and since God in Islam is considered to be of maximum and complete purity that cannot be negated or contradicted, therefore the cousin marriage is considered to be the most revealing and the witness and the testimony to the existence of God. And God in the Quran says this, God says, among the signs of God is that God creates to people marriage partners who are similar to them from their own people. And so uh, the Quran says the compatible marriage of cousin is a sign of God. And in another different verse, God says God has created people in pairs, meaning already there's a, there's a, there's a system where in families, a girl and a boy are produced who are cousins and they can marry to be in a pure relationship. God of Islam says in the Quran that those who are atheists because they do not believe in the signs of God. So not believing, not supporting, not insisting on cousin marriages since there are pure marriage that give evidence and support to the existence of God, is a form of atheism, of disbelief in the God of Islam, which is a, a great sin, and great sins in Islam lead to the hellfire. However, traditionally in Arabs, the cousin marriage was chosen, and this was before Islam, and before the revelation of the Quran, and for this reason the companions and Prophet Muhammad were from cousin marriages, was because the Arabs considered the cousin marriage to be the decent marriage, to be the just relationship, the just marriage, where there's no harm, since in the joinery and marriage of people who are different, which is called sifah, in the Quran, which roughly translates to elopement, is a state where the male and the female are different, yet they insist on a relationship, and their coming together in a oneness of a relationship while they're different is considered to be an elopement that reveals the secret of sex, that the different, the female and the male genitalia, are joined in the act of sex. So when the male and the female getting married are different from different families and are not cousins joined in the bond of the brothers further, the brother further, the pure relationship, this leads to uh, an elopement of revealing the, the description of sex. And since sex is an impurity, since sex is shameful, since sex is dirty, since sex is, is the idea of coming together of different, while it's the, the creating of life, this idea of wrong in life, it suggests to death. And for this, this is the reason why elopement and their honor killings and why in Sharia, in Islamic laws, the laws of punishment of fornication and adultery that include death and the cousin marriage the girl and the boy the man and the woman they're similar and this similarity means they're coming together into a union does not reveal the, the secret and the description of sex and so it's a pure relationship that allows people to know a pure creator who is God Allah, the God of Islam.